Hi guys, I'm Justin Peterson, and in today's short video, I want to share an experience I had recently with a pan and zoom not working correctly in Premiere Pro and what I learned that solved the problem. I am by no means a professional Premiere Pro user, but I have made a few videos in which I use still photographs and apply pan and zoom to give them more life. Now Premiere Pro doesn't call it pan and zoom, it's the motion effect using scale and position. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take a look at what I was working with in Premiere Pro. And the first thing I did was I loaded the picture or the photo I wanted to use onto the timeline. Okay, and then click on it, of course and uh, brings up the control panel. And so to apply zoom to this, what we want to do is go up here to the scale. And we'll put a keyframe in there for the start of the uh, zoom and then move the playhead to the end of the timeline. And then we're going to scale it up to about 10% here. Yeah, 112, that'll work. And then we'll move the playhead back and see what we got. Now we should have a nice slow zoom going on. No, we don't. We have a jump to the end uh, keyframe and nothing in between. So I'll try that again here. That, again, it just jumped and, and so it, it wasn't working. And I tried uh, several different things and nothing uh, seemed to work. I went online to some of those community forums, but nobody was addressing um, what I found to be the problem. And uh, what I started doing was uh, looking at my image that I was using. Most of the time I use a PNG file format uh, photograph. And I happened to notice that this one was a JPEG. So I thought, well, I better take a look at what the size of the image is. And for Premiere Pro, the ideal size is a 1920 by 1080 uh, pixel size. Well, when I took a look at the JPEG, it was much larger than that. So what I did was I went to the Microsoft Office 365 Paint application, which I already have on my computer, and resized the photo. Um, to the right uh, image size. Um, so when I did that then and put that, and also, I don't know if you noticed that, but the timeline had turned red. It was red on that and it was giving me all kinds of problems. So then after I resized it and put the new image on, now the timeline's back to the yellow, which it should be. Um, so now let's see if we kick this up, we're going to have to make it a little bit bigger here to get it up to the full size anyway. Okay. That'll work. Um, now we'll, uh, put the scale on, enter a keyframe, move the playhead to the, uh, end of the still there, and then we'll adjust the scale about 10%. And let's see if it's going to work now. There, see, it's supposed to, that's what it's supposed to be doing. So, if the scale and position in Premiere Pro is not working correctly for you, check the size of your image and make sure that it is not larger than 1920 by 1080 pixels. I hope that this video has been helpful for you, and if so, please like it and subscribe to this channel. As I come across issues that I encounter while creating content, I will post videos of solutions. My next video will deal with timing issues that I've encountered with PowerPoint when converting PowerPoint files to MP4 files. Thank you.